Thank you very much for inviting us here and uh, giving me the opportunity to present uh, my company here. Um, our company is called Invensor. What we're doing is um, we're making cold, and we're doing chillers, um, but they don't work with electricity, like all the air conditioning systems you are used to, but they're working with heat. So what we do is we convert heat into cold. It uh, sounds like a miracle, but it's possible. And um, people are doing this since 1880, uh, something just like this. Just a personal message. Um, we appreciate the questions and the conversations after the speech. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so what we do is um, turning heat into cold, and um, I'll show you some slides um, concerning our company, how we do that. Um, first of all, um, small introduction of the company. Um, we founded the company in 2006, so it's five years um, that we are working in this area. Um, have grown to 20 employees um, now, and have sold like, um, Sold, we've got 50 devices and in, in operation are um, around uh, 30. So we, are, we had, um, had the development phase of our product and had the market introduction. Um, so far, worked quite well, and that's why I'm here. We want to expand this, of course. Um, this is our chiller that converts heat into cold. A chiller, in German Kältemaschine, um, just produces cold water. And you can use this cold water for cooling rooms, like air conditioning, but you can use this cold water um, for industrial processes as well, or wherever you need cold. So it's quite a universal machine. Um, I'll come to the markets later on. The big advantage of this machine, or this technology, is that um, somebody who needs air conditioning can save up to 70% of its electricity bill with our machine. So, if, you, if someone of you has been uh, in, um, in Asia or somewhere else, you know all these um, big skyscrapers and each single room has its own air conditioning system. And you know um, that you need it, definitely. So if you can reduce power consumption for the air conditioning market by 70%, you can cut down some of these Fukushima um, nuclear plants uh, right away. You know. OK, um, where's our market? Of course, um, when we want to do Cold from heat, we need heat. So um, I separated this market overview into the heat source and the cooling application. The heat source, where the heat comes from, um, can be two main, um, main heat sources. The first um, is the CHP, is um, combined heat and power, in German Blockheizkraftwerke. So combined heat and power plants can be very, very small. There's a German company, Zenatech, they sell 20,000 of these small combined heat and power plants. They are middle-sized, they're big ones. Even um, if Angela Merkel to uh, talks about combined heat and power, she talks about big power plants with gigawatt. This is combined heat and power as well, in German called Fernwärme or district heating. So this is one um, good heat source for our um, technology. The other one is solar heat. If you have a, if you have a um, solar thermal heat plant, um, usually in summertime um, you don't have any customer for the heat. It's just uh, wasted heat. So that's where our technology um, comes into the story and uses this surplus heat in summer and converts it into cold or air conditioning. So where can we use the cold for? Where's the market in the normal way of understanding uh, of the market? Um, let me start with regular air conditioning. I told you this already. You can use this cold water, um, run an air conditioner with this, and um, cool like a seminar room, like hotels, like small commercial um, areas, like supermarkets or whatever. Um, one special um, application of air conditioning is the server cooling. 
if you have big data centers like uh, telecom or um, big insurance companies, they have like 2,000 square meters of um, data center. They use so much energy for their cooling that they do everything they can do to avoid this. This is a little bit too big because we are in the small range for us, but every single um, company has a small server room with maybe three racks, four racks, five racks of service in there. They need cooling all the year round, and there is where um, economics are really great with our um, application. You can reach um, times, simple payback times of under three years without funding, without subsidies, without anything. The technology itself is quite old, as I told you already. Um, was um, invented in the 19th century. Um, but all the machines you could buy are really big, are really um, heavy, and are really expensive so far. So what we did is we um, managed to get it very, very small and to reach the small capaci capacity <coughs> range. And in this area, we have, um, our, of course, protected our knowledge, our know-how, with um, 12 um, patents that we filed so far and um, have like, protected it quite, quite good. Competition analysis. Where are our competitors? There are some companies um, doing adsorption, what we do, or absorption, um, like some others do, but none of these companies is really, really big. So it's a small and young market um, where all the companies are starting to grow and starting to develop the market. We just co-founded um, um, the Green Chiller Verband. It's an association of um, most of these companies that we want to bring this forward um, on the political area and the, the lobby um, work doing here in Germany and in other countries. Um, quick um, overview um, um, about management, people. We are two technicians, Mr. Braun, Mr. Braunschweig and me. We've got one sales um, manager who worked at Schuko and Fisman, some big companies working in the solar field as well before. So we managed to get him into our co uh, founding team. And uh, Tobias Krier is um, from the investment um, banking sector. He's um, taking care of our finances. Maybe one, one quick look on, on, one, on our advisory board. We've got the former CEO of Copeland in our advisory board, which is one of the biggest chilling equipment company worldwide. So he's quite, quite good for us. That was your last sentence about letters. Now, figures. So you started to make revenue last year, and uh, mm -hmm. you've got this potential. How would you make these revenues? Selling the machines or service providing, as maybe advised by Mr. Michael Lintz earlier on, when there is the, with the, the decrease of the cost, you can offer for free the, the hardware and maybe doing a service provider out of this. Do you plan um, this or? Um, no, we are okay. um, we are thinking about um, selling the machines and okay. selling the whole system around it, and this is uh, what we um, increased our revenue already from 2009. We had like 80,000 euros, almost nothing. We we um, raised it fivefold um, to 400,000 last year, and we plan um, to raise it um, much more um, because we now start to go into the market. So, how much money do you need? Um, the funding request is around two and a half million euros. Okay. So far, we put um, four million euros into our company um, by our own uh, team, the founder team. We have got some business angels from the solar market. Um, quite interesting because they know exactly what they want to do with our company. And uh, we've got uh, one um, venture capital company um, bringing in this four million so far. Very good. So, thank you very much. We'll skip the up close to go directly to the questions in the room. Please raise your hands here. Do you see a market in Africa for your products? For the yeah, um, actually, no, because um, people are too poor there, and this is a high price product. So if somebody in Africa, I know Africa quite well, if somebody um, wants to have air conditioning, he buys a Chinese product for 250 euros, and uh, that's it. So. From point of view of air conditioning need, definitely the hot countries are best, but Africa definitely not. No, I think it's over. Thank you very much. Thank you.